hi guys welcome back to another video if you've been here before hello if you're new hey anyway so today's video i thought i would talk about friends and uh untrustworthy people who you think your friends are anyway so let's go let's go let's do this um so when I done care in the community, um, I had to double up with some people sometimes and got to make a couple of friends and stuff. Um, this one particular girl or lady, um, yeah, lady, she was, um, mm, I doubled up, up with her quite a lot and, you know, went for coffees and stuff like that as well. Um, I'm trying to think of a name for her. Mm, let's call her Beth but that's not what I really want to say but I won't say it you know because one is a lady you know anyway so um she was having problems with her partner and basically a couple of days ago well this is at the time she um I saw like bruises on her arm she's mm, maybe a little bit darker than me but it was like purpley dark dark color bruise on her arm so I said so what happened and then basically we put his fists on her and then she showed me this other mark on her back and um, she said as you go into the kitchen there's kind of like uh, two work counters which are quite close to each other so he must have shoved her and pushed her on that um, so I'm like oh god so what's the next step going to be is he going to actually do some real real harm like you know coughing kind of harm and so I said to her, she can come and stay with me until she finds a place, which is cool. So she did and um, caught her going through my phone. I'm like, oh, there's nothing actually on the phone that concerned you. At the time I had a Blackberry and, you know, just screens a little like that. Rubbish. But it was okay at the time. Anyway, but I knew she went through my phone because she, she made up this story saying... um that her sister, she went out with her sister to something to eat and the waiter was basically taking a mick out of her because she ordered a lot of food. Um, but it was me that she went out with, so I know exactly what she's talking about, I'm not stupid. So basically, while we was there, um, she got a paella. Now, their paella, paella dishes or like frying pan is she, what do you call them? I don't even know. Paella thingy to cook it in it's about it's about that big so in my eyes it, it will serve about four people <sighs> anyway she ate it all and then we had starters as well which was scallops can't remember what else um and then uh i i thought i just got what did i get maybe just like pasta and a bit of fish or something like that i can't remember i can't remember now but um, I always eat a bit less because I want the pudding. So and their cheesecake's really nice. Anyway, so she doesn't like sweet stuff, but because I ordered cheesecake, she thought she'd ordered the cheesecake, and she was saying, "Oh, oh, this is really sweet." Yep, it's the, the other. I'm thinking, well, what you, you know, it's sugar in it. Oh, the waiter said to her, "Would you like a slice or the whole thing?" <laughs> which he shouldn't have said that really but i knew what he was getting at because she ate all the bloody paella or paella i think that's how you're supposed to say in it paella, paella la, la. um and she got offended anyway that's what i text my sister what happened so and i was i just said oh the embarrassment but i don't know if she was embarrassed or not but i knew she went through my phone anyway she started to be a bit offish with me for some reason um um like we did go shopping and stuff like that she like contributed to housekeeping should i say um she done most of the cooking because she just wanted to eat her native food and i eat anything so by and by me um so yeah, it was. I don't know what the problem was. It started to go downhill. Maybe the it was the text message that um like made her feel a bit shitty or whatever. But I wasn't lying. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
so she stayed she she said to me that she was 38 at the time she said to me she was 38 and um, i think i went into one of my drawers that i don't normally go into often and i saw her passport in it so i thought well let me have a look anyway it said her name and date of birth but it was actually 28 why are you lying i don't understand if you're 28 you're 28 isn't it help me out here she um before she went a bit silent which I, this is probably why i think she did because she kept coming home telling me about people she used to work in a residential care home for disabled people she used to tell me that this one this worker used to take this this one took extra money out of the the client's money and spent it and just that the other one i'm thinking and she said she was like what should i do i said what do you mean what should you do well, tell the manager innit? it is stealing just because they're unable to um manage their finances and you know money and stuff doesn't mean that you could take the pee out of them then one thing she said to me she said that so from what she's saying all the workers there were black and she, she beth bought home um a big bottle of tresemme um shampoo just the, the black ball and i'm thinking why, why are you even using that because it's not for afro hair type you know what i'm saying um and then it dawned on me you, you're giving me all these scenarios and i'm telling you what you should do when it's you doing the teeth in anyway time had come for her to jog on basically and i think the night before she had to uh she was she was going she packed up her stuff um but she went to work the next day and then she come for her stuff in the evening but i went in the kitchen right and i looked i know what i've got in the kitchen and i had these um like there was like 70s 70s punch bowl it's in the shape of an apple and it's got like i don't know what you call it but the glass is like crimpled and it had four um little dishes to go with it so if it was a trifle you know put them in addition blah, blah, blah. that wasn't there and i told her my mum gave it to me i uh, i am sentimental so i told her i'll give it to me um but it weren't there so i thought oh, well, so i went in the room and she had a big burgundy um suitcase i thought let me just look in this one first and lo and behold the bowl and the two um well the four dishes were in there oh god i was so mad <sighs> but i didn't say nothing to her because i either say too much or not enough and i think that will be a occasion when i said too much anyway so she come with her friend to get the stuff but if you're out of there you're out of there you don't need to come in there i buzzed her in and all her stuff was already lined up on the balcony um she kept texting me after that you know oh we can still be friends this at the other this at the other I'm like, well no because i'm trying to help you out and you're stealing um i think she took the um stove lighter you know those ones you get from pound shop or whatever i think she stole that because i've never seen it since and to be honest i don't know what else she took <sighs> but it can't be nothing too valuable because i wouldn't have noticed it i guess so yeah so that was the last time i let a friend come and stay here taking a piss i i don't i don't really make new friends i think the newest friend i made was in 2018 and we're still friends now everything's cool we go out to eat she lives quite far away but you know everyone could get to central london can't they so yeah we meet up once or twice a month that's cool we text and stuff that's cool but to make any new new friends no thank you i find that people can be so fake and you know pretend to agree with you when they don't really and then you hear you start hearing the bitchiness coming out or they're doing something that's a bit off key so i'm all right thank you love you all but i don't want no new friends fine i'll be friend. i guess i'll be friends with people on um maybe like tiktok and facebook and stuff but that's kind of the level it will be i guess but yeah that's my little story about the teeth i tried to um help out um 
a good few years back. Of course, I was trying to remember. I think this was um, maybe 2016. I'm not sure. 15 or 16. I'm not sure. But yeah, thank you for listening to my little story. And be careful, peeps. People are not what they seem to be. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to eat my sushi, have my cup of coffee, have my nutters from my littles, and carry on making my little dolly. Looks like a um, looks like a gingerbread doll face. I messed up. I didn't have enough yarn, but I'm gonna put the hair across here and a little hat. So you know what I'm saying. I'll get on with that. And I will see you in another video. Thank you for watching and take care. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.